Hi everyone, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you how to install a Pi camera version 2 in the Raspberry Pi version 4, this one. But to do it, I will install Ubuntu Core, a special Ubuntu distribution dedicated to IoT. But before we start, let me remind you, you can subscribe to my channel and press the bell button to get notifications about all the videos I'll be publishing. Now let's do it. Okay, let's start by taking care of the hardware. As you can see, I have here my Raspberry Pi 4 board. I need to open it in order to have access to the camera socket. So I will have to get to the socket, the special socket dedicated to the flat cable. So this one, I'll show you here inside. This socket is the one I'll need to use. So this is uh, specially created for flat, flexible cables. I'll need to pull it off. Okay. Now it is ready to receive the camera. Let me insert the flexible flat cable. Here we have the Pi camera version 2. You need to take care of these materials with caution because they are very sensitive and you can damage the cable or any soldering at the end of the cables so what we need to do is to put the metal pins to this side like I'm showing you here insert it carefully try not to bend or let the cable make any angle it must go straight into the socket and after you are done you can push the connector down in order to get it correctly inserted and mechanically stable okay so after that we are ready to take care of the software okay you can download Raspberry Pi Imager software from Raspberry Pi webpage run it and choose OS scroll down to Ubuntu open Ubuntu menu scroll down again and choose Ubuntu Core for Raspberry Pi 2, 3 and 4 for 32 bits. Drivers are not still compatible with 64 bits. Choose your SD card socket, press right, confirm. And now let me put my password to give right permissions. Let's wait until the SD card is completely written. And now press continue. So we are uh, done. Let me now show you how to connect the remaining cables. Let's put the HDMI. And the USB-C power cable. I'm using the original power supply from Raspberry Pi. Don't forget to connect your micro SD cards in the socket we have now some activity the board is already booting so now let's wait until the operating system starts so you can take care of the configuration so when you see press enter to configure let's start press ok we need to get some network connection somehow using Ethernet or Wi-Fi I'll be using my guest Wi-Fi connection at home. I will choose here to see the visible networks. My guest network is the one I'll be using. 
let me put the password for this Wi-Fi network and after that we will continue we are done going down here also and the board will try to connect to this network so we can proceed with this installation so this installation uh, procedure needs to connect to Ubuntu servers because we need to put an RSA key and we do it by entering our Ubuntu account. You can create an Ubuntu account at their at website. You have the link on the screen. Create an RSA key, upload the key like I'm showing you. So for the login, I can give you here some steps, fulfill all these required information for your new account at Ubuntu. And the email address I have just entered on the field at uh, the Ubuntu Core installation is the very same email address you are entering here when you create this account. Okay. So let me fulfill here my email address and now I'm ready to create the account. Confirm that your account is correctly created on your personal email box. And now that you have an Ubuntu One account, you can create an SSH RSA key like I'm showing you on a Mac. Procedure should, should be exactly the same. When you use any SSH software for Windows, you have, for example, Putty. You can create keys. They have all the necessary tools. I will write on my uh, description the links you can uh, use to create your own SSH keys. So now I'm putting the path for my RSA file that I'll be using later when making the first connection to my board so this key is already generated let me show you its contents i'm entering the, the folder and this is the file my linux tech school id rsa dot pub this is the public key i can show you the key because I need to copy the key to the website. Okay, so I will select the key completely and copy paste here on Ubuntu One website. Paste here, import the key, and when you see it on the list, you can be sure you have everything you need. Now let me make an SSH connection we are already inside the boards. I am installing sudo snap install pycamera minus streaming minus demo. I'm installing this software. And after that, I need to check one thing. As you can see, we don't have port 8000 listening because we still don't have the hardware connected to the operating system. I need to activate the hardware, but for that I need to go to the boot folder slash uboot, open the config file, scroll down to the end of the file and add a new line start underscore x equals one. This will activate the hardware, save the file and reboot. After you do this, wait a little bit until the board boots again and grabbing your browser, you can see the images. Let's do that. Now you see that I have port 8000 listening so I can access the web page. Here you see an image being captured by my Pi camera. 
my special DigiKey electronics uh, mug, coffee mug. And that's it, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel, press the alert button and make any comments below for any questions or suggestions. Bye bye, guys. Thank you.